Hello and welcome to the third session of ASME B31.3 course. This is Ali and I hope you are doing well. It's my pleasure to have you in this course. As mentioned in previous session, we trust in code to provide us optimum safety. In this session, with an example, I'm going to show you how safety factor implemented in code's requirements. You are familiar with stress strain curve that give us the relationship between stress and strain. This curve is obtained by gradually applying load to a test coupon and measuring information from which the stress and strain can be determined. There is a point in stress strain curve named yield strength that indicates the limit of elastic behavior and the beginning of plastic behavior. Prior to yield point, a material will deform elastically and will return to its original shape when the applied stress is removed. But if yield strength is passed, some deformation will be maintained named plastic deformation that shall be prohibited by considering appropriate safety factor. We should consider a margin to protect our system against reaching yield strength. Therefore, the allowable stress is defined as a stress that our system can only reach it at severe condition and resulted by dividing yield stress to safety factor. Actually, could use different methods for applying safety factors in ASME B31.3. The allowable stress directly defined in table A1, while in ASME B31.4 and ASME B31.8, the safety factors are specified by those codes. We will discuss this issue in following sessions. Let's see Table A1 Basic Allowable Stresses Intention for Metals of ASME B31.3. In this table, you can find basic allowable stress of material accepted by B31.3 per temperature. Let's continue with an example. What is the allowable stress of material ASTM A106 gray B at 100 degrees Fahrenheit and what safety factor is considered for this material at this temperature by B31.3. At the first step, we should search A106 in table A-1 and then find grade B. There are columns ahead it and one of them indicates minimum yield strength. You can find minimum yield strength is equal to 35 KSI or 35,000 pound square inch. In next columns, you can find allowable stress per temperature. So, you can find allowable stress of A106 grade B between minimum temperature to 100 degree Fahrenheit in this column. The result will be 20 KSI or 20,000 
pound a square inch. With mentioned information, now you can tell me what safety factor is considered for this material at this temperature by B31.3. Yes, the safety factor is equal to 1.75 resulted by dividing yield stress to allowable stress. It means that SNE B31.3 considered 1.75 as an optimum safety factor for this material at this temperature to handle the test covers this code's scope of work. In next session, I'll compare the safety factor between B31.3 and B31.1. I hope you find this session beneficial. Thank you for being with us. Have a good time.